is finished, Liu Kang. Lord Raiden, it falls upon you to architect a new history. Then together, let us begin. Holy shit, guys, I did not see this coming. Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out with its very own Aftermath expansion, which is going to continue the story of Mortal Kombat 11's campaign. It is going to give us some new characters, some new maps, and of course, a game mechanic that is completely new that I haven't even seen coming and what will be really fun for players to use. As you guys couldn't tell from what's going on on screen, we're going to be able to expand and continue upon the Mortal Kombat 11 campaign, and it ends off with Raiden and Liu Kang preparing to restore time, and uh, Shang Tsung, Fujin, and Nightwolf come through a portal and basically say, Hey, stop what you're doing. You're going to destroy everything and you're going to mess it up because you guys destroyed Kronika's crown before you uh, took the hourglass, and without it, you can't restore time in the right way. So send us back, trust us to take the crown and give it back to you so you guys can restore time in the right way. And of course, there's going to be some trust issues and What's more important to me, in my opinion, is the fact that we are going to have a lot more than just the campaign. We are going to be able to play as Fujin, which has been a highly, highly requested character, a fan favorite, and one of the most requested that I've seen. We're going to be playing as uh, Shiva too, and the final character is a guest character, and we are going to be able to play as Robocop in Mortal Kombat 11? Jesus Christ, NetherRealm never ceases to impress with their guest characters, and it's going to be so fun to play as Robocop against Terminator or vice versa. And of course, we're also going to be getting some new maps, some classic maps with their own stage fatalities. And of course, the last thing that's really cool in my opinion is we're going to be able to have the friendship mechanic. It's just going to be so fun to see how other players are going to uh, implement this into their game. And of course, we are going to get some Eternal Clash skin pack skins, classic Frost, uh, MK9 Scorpion and Shredder Sub-Zero. But guys, I think this is going to wrap it up. I am super impressed with what NetherRealm was doing and is uh, continuing on with the future of Mortal Kombat 11. They didn't just make a new uh, roster of characters that we could play as, they're also giving us a lot more stuff. But guys, if you want to play Mortal Kombat 11's Aftermath expansion, you can play it on the 25th if you pre-order. And as you guys will see, if you pre-order, you'll get some really cool skins. And I am definitely going to be pre-ordering this. And I'll probably do some gameplay on the campaign because I didn't really do that last time. But guys, this is going to conclude my video. Thank you all for watching. Press the like button if you did like what I, what I talked about in it. And press the sub tab and the bell on the side if you guys are new and want to stick around for some more Rage Quit content in the future. We do a lot of stuff here and uh, just comment down in the comments what you guys think of this new expansion and who are you most uh, what are you most excited about but guys I'm Shadow Ninja and you just watched another Rage Quit video about Mortal Kombat 11 the aftermath expansion thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next one